So when teaching a concept to someone that might have absolutely no background or um, knowledge in the field that the concept belongs to, I will make either general analogies that may be understood by anybody or analogies specific to that person's field. So, for example, if I'm trying to teach about the ML paradigm of unsupervised learning to someone with maybe ab absolutely no background in, or knowledge in AI, I might explain it like this. Suppose we have a, fr a robot friend who has just been designed by our school's robotics team. Let's call him Al. So, much like uh, life or organisms that have just come into the world, our friend AI current, our friend Al currently has no access to data. But based on the current capabilities and limitations of machine learning, he was provided with three classifications of sensory input, touch, hearing, and vision. Right now, all he has is a constant stream of data from his sensory inputs, and he, yet, he cannot yet classify this data to influence his behavior. So even without understanding or preconception of surroundings, Al begins collecting raw data of his surroundings. So this is the beginning stages of learning how to classify this input data. With his sense of touch, he is able to roughly assess the relative size of the objects. With his sense of hearing, he is able to assess the relative loudness of noises. And with his sense of vision, he is able to infer that objects farther away appear smaller. So essentially, he may draw basic inferences about the surroundings. He therefore uses his unsupervised learning setting for beginning to understand the world. And so unsupervised learning is training data works on training data that does not contain any information regarding classification whatsoever. 